Hello, Buzzer Cards. My name is Hotel C, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Where right now we are paused because we have crude oil sitting here in the pipe ready to be released, and then. Uh, we will soon find out if uh, this contraption, uh, this uh, um, crude oil boiler that converts it to sour gas uh, and eventually to natural gas uh, actually works. The design, by the way, is by uh, C.G. Fungus. I think I will link uh, his video down in the description. But Let's unpause the game. Let's open here. And let's close again. We get a bit of, uh, of petroleum here. So the conversion from uh, crude oil to petroleum worked. Uh, but as you uh, saw, we also closed the door because the temperature uh, dropped and we need a bit more temperature in here to make that sour gas. And the start is a bit, um, is a bit tricky because um, Currently, we do have a vacuum here, so the liquid which is flowing down is not really heated up here in in this area because we do not yet have that one going. And then in here, um, we do have still a bit of chlorine down here. We have uh, carbon dioxide in solid form, so I fear eventually this will turn into into gas that's why we added a set of filters here on this side to ensure that in this huge thing here we only uh, put in natural gas so our uh, our generators do not break because we do not have any access to it it's all enclosed so let's let's see the petroleum is uh, slowly heating up um, and if we look in the in the properties um, at 538.9 it evaporates and we are almost there and this uh, sensor is set to 540 so slightly above that threshold and if this works out as it should uh, then Potentially, this is the last episode in uh, in this series. Well, of course, there is lots and lots of things to do, but creating this contraption was the goal of uh, of this series, and we will have another goal for the next one, and maybe once we are through all the different asteroids uh, we might come back to one world or the other um, to fix some some issues because there are some issues in here you can see we are a bit on the warm side and uh, this system here does not really cut it because the, the thermo aqua tuner is running intermittently uh, because we get um, liquid in 
uh, from here, bypassing even though it should run constantly. So that's why we are not properly cooling and our diet is consists mainly out of uh, barbecue. Which is a bit, um, well, maybe unhealthy, but definitely uh, on the uh, unbalanced side. And then, of course, we could also do a bit more with uh, space exploration. Um, we just had this uh, in here so we could get space materials that we needed for our farm here. And uh, yeah, where are we? We are at 5.39, so actually we should already see that turn into, into gas. Uh, and if we look here... Um, what we want is actually sour gas uh, it's sour gas we get from petroleum so petroleum will turn into sour gas and not uh, um, just uh, the gas gaseous form of petroleum sour gas is is what we get here so yeah let's wait and see okay we have an issue here because there we should have a bridge because that should not flow back because that is uh, eventually an issue so, Let's go in here, let's try to turn this off, no, does not work, um, we will deconstruct this tile and we will have um, a bridge going over here so that the uh, super coolant bypassing the, the line of aqua tunus can join the line back here and here we just have the, uh, the output and I would really like if you could get a move on there Potentially, we will have an issue because temperatures here are rather warm and we might lose the lock there. We will see. Yeah. probably need here is let's try this uh, this petroleum and as long as we have as long as we have steam in here should be okay. Probably we need a bit more. Okay. 
So let's wipe that off. At least that brought to an end uh, the uh, the running of uh, of this, but we are also not heating anymore up here. So I am wondering if I have enough um, enough water in here. Good enough. So, uh, what we then also need to do is reconnect this and that. And let's just hope that uh, the amount of steam that we still have in there is enough. close off because this piece we can deal with from the outside so let's do that oh. we are still missing One essential piece. Connection there. And for that, we do not have the insulation, which means we have to get a bit more iso resin from outer space. Which will take some some cycles. And I guess in the in the meantime we can make sure that we actually have enough liquid in here. So let's send our rocket on the way. Um, we need iso resin, and once we have sorted the insulation issue out, and uh, we can close this this off again and give it another try. I think we are good to go. Uh, we completed this loop here again. Backfilled the uh, the super coolant, so now we can uh, get rid of that bridge. Also added a bit more uh, water uh, in here. So the the only thing I'm not a hundred percent certain is um, we need
could now this steam is cooled down, which means uh, also up here, the petroleum is much cooler than it should be. The uh, aqua tuners are running. Maybe we have a bit too much um, in here because they are running intermittently. So what could happen is that we cool the super coolant too much uh, so that it freezes. Um, and that would break break the line. Um, okay, um, let's deconstruct this real quick. Well, that was not what I wanted to break. Um, the liquid bridge and now we have actually emptied everything so we need to to fill it uh, back in but I think what we can do here is have a uh, Liquid shut off going this direction and we need a switch. Place it here. Take this and then probably you want to have power. Right. Then we need to connect this back up here. Build this whole thing and then we can add the liquid back in and once that's done we can give this uh, another try now this looks more like it and an interesting thing that I figured out is uh, here the temperatures are minus 247 out we get with minus 2 uh, 72 but if we look uh, in here um, we can see after the second aqua tuner we already are at that temperature so basically uh, apparently we cannot cool down super coolant lower uh, so it would get into solid form um, but the steam here is, is heating up, which means the petroleum is heating up. And once we reach the 540 degree mark, uh, we should be able to see finally some um, we should finally see some uh, uh, liquid. Uh, uh, not liquid sour gas and you can see the uh, the input liquid is too cold hopefully then does not matter too much the problem that we might face is that um, we are not able to heat up the steam enough 
I think we have the liquid tepidizer up here, which um, basically brings up the, the temperature a bit. So, which means the, the super coolant that we get back here on this side will always be a bit above that mark so we can cool it down just a smidge um, uh, heat up the steam a bit more uh, and once I think we get the loop going we should see higher uh, uh, temperature differences because then of course we are also need really cooling things down in, in this area and that should help It, we have sour gas so let's put in a bit more just a bit goes down here Through there and there we have sulfur so belt which just ends down here um, let's for now just do this wire it uh, through here dump it in here to cool this lake off eventually we could also route it through our base in order to cool it down but I think let's just start with the basics and then we can uh, add more and we are pumping a bit up here and now that we are saving again we have to wait but looking at the at the temperatures has not changed that much but we have now here natural gas and this one is to set to above um, 10,000 grams so 10 kilograms so we need quite a bit of natural gas before we start pumping it out uh, and over to this side so let's give this a bit of time and as you can see we are now at the point where we are pumping things out and they arrive over here and soon as once we get enough uh, uh, polluted water down here that should be uh, cooked we should get steam and we can then use that to uh, cool this system and here on this side we have this nice color transient um, here with the with the sour gas here with the with the natural gas 
here apparently a bit of uh, needs in, in here uh, then we are shipping out the, the sulfur in here it should help cooling the, the thing down and can also look at the at the temperatures down here we are at uh, 540 around ish it changes all the time but up here we are only at 140 so there is quite a temperature difference and then here you can see even a bigger difference here we get into the blue and then once we get back out here uh, from blue uh, orange to red again and if we select this and have liquids there you can see we have crude oil which changes into petroleum um, and then down here into sour gas and we rarely see any uh, petroleum sitting here directly on top of that so how are we looking not all the uh, the engines are already uh, working not everything is supplied with uh, with uh, uh, natural gas because I guess for that the uh, pumps would need to run constantly. But yes, I think so far this uh, this worked out uh, quite well. Um, actually, we probably would not need this one because. Uh, we cannot cool the thing down too much however as we have sitting petroleum petroleum up there um, we want to make sure that um, we are not heating up too much right because we do not want to freeze the petroleum or uh, evaporate it. So I think if we have the cooling loop at around zero degree, um, that should work. However, seeing that we have a, a vacuum in here, that will not yet work. So hopefully we will not damage the aqua tuner too much until we can get a bit of steam in here that will actually uh, cool it sufficiently. But yes, I think uh, that's it for this season. We have seen... Uh, um, this machine working and uh, if we have a look at power usage we generate 4000 kilojoules uh, with um, or let's view the last one 7 15,544 kilojoules kilo through natural gas generation and um, what we wasted there is 10,000 so uh, roughly uh, uh, two thirds of the energy that we are producing is wasted because we do not need that much power but we have it and having it is a good thing so thank you all for joining me in this series there will be 
another series or actually I think two more series of oxygen not included but I do have two Minecraft series one in German one in English so if you're interested in Minecraft uh, check those out and then uh, I plan to restart my uh, Factorio series or another season of Factorio uh, also in German so if that's your thing uh, stay tuned and uh, after that we will probably be back with more oxygen not included so either until then or on another series. Goodbye.